And now Mr. Mr. Leeser has prepared a statement. He will not be taking any questions. Thank you. Uh, been a while since I was in front of you. I figure I'll stick to the cards this time. <laughs> <clears throat> There's been speculation that I was involved in the events that occurred in Los Angeles a few months back. I'm sorry, so, Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was some other YouTuber named Jay Laser with flamethrowers and jets? I, I know that it's how? confusing. It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations or insinuate that you've seen my face. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Truth is. Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? So clearly a different style of video, as you can tell. Um, you can see me, actually. Uh, um, so I've been thinking about this for a while, uh, cause my idea with this channel is to do bigger projects. So I asked you guys in my last video uh, if that was something you'd like to see. Um, of course I got a mixed response. Classic YouTube. Some people want one thing, some people want the complete opposite. I don't know. Um, so I'm just pretty much going with what I want to do. Uh, and those bigger projects kind of involve me to be in them. And honestly, it's just gonna take like so much work if I have to blur out my face every time or like wear a mask doesn't sound like fun yeah in my last video i think i said if we got a certain amount of likes i do kind of like a behind the scenes face reveal um i think we came pretty close and i'm confident we'll hit it but uh to be fully honest what i'm about to show you is what i've been working on for the past like week now actually it's been under construction for a lot longer than that but yeah i've just been mainly focusing on this and i currently have no content to show you uh other than this so yeah, that's why I kind of jumped the gun on that. Uh, plus, I'm just really excited to show you guys because uh, I think it's really cool uh, what's set up down here. Uh, my new workshop, that is. And I've also done a lot of channel upgrades, like a few really flashy new intro. I know, right? I made that myself. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get this uh, workshop tour started. That's what YouTubers do, right? They, like, hit the screen to transition. All right. All right, let's start rolling this thing, see how it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you around my new workshop. Very excited about it. Uh, hopefully you guys find it cool as well. A lot of cool tech going on in here. Firstly, uh, where you just saw me, I'm actually in my kind of new quote unquote studio. Um, so I've got a table right there, some backdrops. Uh, if I turn around like here, oh my gosh, the light. One light here, giant light here, ceiling light, a lot of lighting. Very professional, I know, right? Um, also, another cool feature we have right here uh, is so when I sit right here, about, um, we'll have a TV right there uh, hooked up for my camera so I can actually see myself recording. Because if you're far away from this tiny little video screen I have right here, flip out screen, it's very hard to see what you're doing. So hopefully, this screen, God, I keep hitting this light. I've got my camera right there. And uh, as you can see, I've got my TV right there behind me, so uh, I can see what I'm doing. Uh, instead of having to look at that little tiny screen right there, uh, yeah, I can see the uh, top. Guys, this is so trippy. Like, I can like high five myself. Uh. All right, focus. Yeah, I can actually control. Anyway, uh, I can actually control my camera from my iPhone. Uh, so there's like an app you can download, and uh, Wi-Fi syncs uh, to the camera. So I can like focus it and zoom from sitting right here. Um, so I can just show off my projects and uh, I don't, I can't actually reach the camera. I can just do it right from my phone. Pretty convenient. So yeah, as I was saying, backdrops right there, project kind of film table right here. All right, one other thing over here I want to show you guys is my camera equipment. See, as you can see, I've got all my camera stuff. All the necessary equipment. Oh, that's a lie, actually half of it I just got. I was nowhere near this professional before. Like guys, check this out. Look what I'm riding right now. Yeah, a hoverboard. That's how you know you're a YouTuber. No, but it actually does give you some really steady shots. Like I can just like cruise around here. Oh my God, I almost crashed that, holy sh Guys, I just added an excessively long pole to my uh, camera. Check this out, look how steady these shots are. Ooh, that backdrop though, damn. Yeah, vloggers, take note. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, Jesus, go, come on, focus. Ah, oh, there's wires down here. 
I gotta cross these. Always an issue. Oh God. All right, nailed it. Um, yeah, so right here, this is uh, kind of my work table uh, for actually building the projects. So uh, this is where I'll be, I guess, prototyping and then you know filming back there. Um, so yeah, we've got a uh, toolbox, um, some work area right here. Uh, if I come around, you can see got a few chairs under there. Got a uh, scroll saw right here, uh, belt sander, and another Dremel scroll saw kind of right here. Pretty simple setup. All right, moving on. Over here we basically have a bunch of projects that I have either finished and um, maybe might mod later or projects I haven't started yet. So like, oh, this is sneak peeks, check it out. We got a long board, we got the jet engines um, and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, definitely doing more with uh, this later. Also got the knife shoe and uh, the storage compartment shoe. Uh, actually, funny story about that. Uh, the other day I had to go to like a formal thing, uh, but the last minute I realized I didn't have any dress shoes because uh, I had blades in them. Yeah, that's like only a problem that would ever happen to me. Underneath here, we've got just a bunch of uh, other stuff. More unfinished inventions slash projects I'm thinking about doing. Uh, and unopened boxes I need to get to. A lot of cool stuff to come though. All right, moving around over here. Got kind of a 3D printer slash uh, speaker setup. Um, so yeah, I got my M3D printer right there. Of course, you gotta have the bump and subs. Got that uh, speaker, other speaker, and the other speaker. And of course, next to my speaker, I've got my crossbows. Uh, electronic penny board. It's chilling there. Um, you know how many lighters I use? Look at this. Party poppers as well, can't forget those. Uh, light to change the uh, backdrop lights. I don't know if you can see it. All right, let's, uh, what color, what's your favorite color? Uh, maybe go uh, green. Green's a cool color. Red. Hmm, more red. Oh, that's not, I'm clearly colorblind. Oh yeah, behind me, wall of tools, so a bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch of tools that I use to uh, turn safe objects into uh, stuff that terrifies the hell out of my mom. Um, what else do I have to show you guys? Ooh, here's something that I don't know will, if it will work or not, whatever. Uh, back here, laser cutter. Laser cutter, yeah. Uh, uh, still have to get it set up. It's a small one, but uh, you know, size and everything. Oh, it'll, it'll still get the job done, no, no worry. So uh, what else do we have behind me? Targeting range, kind of, like, um, I don't know, I could probably throw some shit at those boards. Nerf gun, modded Nerf gun up there. I don't know if you guys remember that. CO2 Nerf gun, check that video out, it's pretty dope. That door keeps opening and closing. That's actually how you get outside. I swear there's a ghost. Also, it's really nice down here because it's like, uh, Oh my god, I keep hitting this. 10 degrees cooler. I'm definitely trying to do bigger projects though that uh, I can bring outside and uh, you know have some fun testing. Because um, I think that'll be really cool. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I was doing before, like it was like still cool, but uh, it was a lot smaller than uh, what I want to be doing. Um, so yeah, hopefully this workshop will lead to uh, a lot cooler inventions. Uh, watch out for that pole. Definitely uh, way more professional than what I had before. All right, well there you go guys. Hopefully you didn't think this was uh, too bad of a video. I just had a lot of uh, cool, exciting stuff about this channel uh, that I just had to share with you guys. And I felt like with all this new stuff going on, this would be a perfect time to try a new style of video and obviously uh, maybe try being in a couple of them. Uh, so I hope you guys do like it. Hopefully you all don't unsubscribe because of my hideous face. God, my is late. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. It might be complete crap, I don't know. Uh, first time making one of these. I think a lot of people are scared of change, but uh, I think the only way to get better is to make changes. Step outside your comfort zone. And yeah, you can uh, create something that you never thought possible before. Yeah, that got really motivational. <sighs> so uh, leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe, because there's just so much more cool stuff coming, guys. I'm just really having a lot of fun making things. Like, even if I didn't do like YouTube, um, I would still be making stuff. Like, I made stuff way before YouTube. And yeah, you guys allow me to do stuff that I would have never been able to do without you. Um, so thank you. That's pretty much all I've got for this video, guys. So I will see you in the next video. Hopefully you'll see me as well, unless this video even gets one dislike, and then I'm never making a YouTube video again. Okay, bye.